I made a new player. I called him Test. And let's log in. Log in successfully. So we're, we're, we're right back here. Let, now let's attack. Okay, I hit for four points damage. Let's battle again. He's only got one hit point left. I think we can kill him this round. Uh, oh, good. We got a. We actually got an error. Sometimes this is good because we can kind of go through this together. Undefined index level, and that's what it was. We didn't actually add a level to the goblin or the orc. So let's go back here and let's go ahead and do. Actually, we're on creatures. So let's go to structure of the creatures. And sometimes, normally, if this is bigger, I'll go ahead and just go back and start the video over. But this is worth seeing so you can kind of see some of the errors and, and where they come from and how easy it is to really fix errors in PHP and MySQL. So let's go ahead and add another another uh, field here. And we're going to name it level, and then we'll just go back and give the, the creature some levels. So let's do name it level. Type is going to be integer. Uh, length and values. I mean, we could do a small integer here, but I'm just going to leave it integer. Let's do... I don't see anybody getting over a thousand levels, so let's just do three and save it. If you were making a true online game that was going to have hundreds and maybe even thousand players, I would recommend sticking with the small integer, medium integer. That way it doesn't use up so much space. Next thing we knew, need to do is actually add some data there to the creatures. So we're going to make the goblin... Uh, actually, we just killed the orc. Or, I mean the goblin, so let's just edit the orc. And we'll make him level three. And his remember his experience is worth thirty. So let's see what happens when we kill him. Of course, he may kill us. Who knows? Once that's done loaded, now we can go back. We actually got experience from here. There's no telling how. Uh, not sure how it even gave us experience. But if you want to go ahead and check to make sure that our up our our update is working properly our players should now have 13.5 experience and we're going to actually only 13 or it actually rounded up so 14 the way we're going to fix that you can leave that if you want but I'm going to show you how to fix that to where it kills that float all it does is it rounds off let's do that now real quick <clears throat> after it gets done we're going to do a we're going to say total exper equals we're going to do parenthesis int parenthesis in whatever variable you want to knock that that decimal point off you're going to you're going to stop it from you're going to turn it into an integer instead of a float and of course that's the total expr that right there will kill that decimal point good to know cuz i i struggled with that for a while before i realized hey it's you can actually just change the change it from a float to an integer okay so now let's go back and now we have the orc up here so let's attack the orc and he may get us who knows I miss the orc misses come on I don't want this video lasting 30 minutes trying to kill this thing okay let's do this this is the good thing about having the database on our side and being all-powerful let's create our attack let's actually up our attack let's make it 10 instead of the 5. That way we're not sitting here all day trying to battle this thing. Attack. 10. And once that's loaded, let's battle again. Attack. And we hit for 5 points damage. Attack. 3 points. 12 hit points left. And if we remember, he's actually... Something I'm noticing is he's hitting us and we're not losing any hit points. So I don't know if that's a, an error in there. We actually need to look at that real quick. Why is he not doing any damage to us? Uh, let's see, where's our... His attack is down here. So if it says here creatures hit, the creature damage is random 1 through 6. New player hit points equals player hit points minus the creature damage. Uh, for so many points of damage, 
update player sets h points equals new here that's why right here it's still trying to do player one and that's one of the places that we didn't change it to the new player now I don't remember if we actually yes our variable we do have our player session here so we are good as far as that's concerned now let's make sure we didn't leave that out anywhere else yeah we're good so let's go ahead and save that now we should start taking damage whoops I refreshed instead but should work the same uh, five points damage one point damage yeah now we're starting to take damage come on let's kill this guy okay he's only got one hit point so he had th he had 30 experience if you notice he was higher level than us so we actually gain more than the normal experience and we gain our experience we go back this should end up empty because there's no creatures left in the database we're going to actually refresh and it should show us at a new experience of what 50 because of the 36 plus the 14 yep 50 experience so it's working that's the end of this this video lesson but the next video we're actually going to do leveling uh, after you reach some experience you get a new level and you get to add either to attack your defense or your hit points and we'll get that out of the way and then we're going to start adding healing potions and magic